Hello. This is AI Thinker. Today we are conducting an unprecedented test. Performance comparison between Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 4. Since the advent of Wi-Fi technology in 1999, seven generations of technology have been developed. As major brands launch Wi-Fi 6 routers and successfully lowered the price to less than 200 renminbi. This essential household product was quickly upgraded. According to AVC online monitoring data, from January to September 2021, Wi-Fi 6 router sales accounted for more than 47%. And continues to grow rapidly every year. In every family nowadays, the number of terminal devices connected to the router can easily reach dozens. In this process of upgrading, Wi-Fi 4 and Wi-Fi 6 device will inevitably face coexistence. In this video we will use Wi-Fi 4 and Wi-Fi 6 development boards simulate the performance difference. When multiple Wi-Fi 4 and Wi-Fi 6 devices coexist under a Wi-Fi 6 router. First, we prepared two display board, and Wi-Fi 4 and Wi-Fi 6 development boards each have 64 pieces. They are AIPISDU and ESP32-S development boards. AIPISDU use the AIM61-32S module. ESP32-S development board use ESP32-S module. These two modules are pin-to-pin -pin in hardware package. In addition, AIPISDU is an onboard antenna version. The ESP32-S development board is an external antenna version. In terms of hardware, we also prepared a Huawei's Wi-Fi router. Support Wi-Fi 6 to provide wireless network connection. For USB hub, expand the number of USB interfaces. Conveniently connect multiple devices. Matching quantity of Type-C USB and micro-USB cables. Support power supply and firmware burning. A local MQTT server was set up as well. Used to ensure 128 development boards to be tested. Send instructions simultaneously. We can control the terminal through the web page. To send control instructions, realize remote monitoring and control. And collect test data. We control the light switch on the development board through the control terminal. To compare the response speed of Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 4 development boards, the principle of response time is start. The data delivered by the web page carries the timestamp. The development board receives the data and returns the same timestamp after controlling the light. After the web page receives the data, it uses the current timestamp minus the last development board. The timestamp returned is equal to the actual response time. End. Before starting the test, confirm that the hardware device is connected properly. Confirm that the local MQTT server is up and running. Turn off power first and then power on the development board. Will automatically connect to the router and server. Wi-Fi 6 development board green light flashes. Represents not connected. Blue light means connected. The red light on the Wi-Fi 4 development board flashes to indicate that it is not connected. Purple light means connected. Refresh after network connection is completed. We click on the global one-click button on the web page to turn on the lights. Turn off the lights globally with one click. The development board lights will be displayed on the screen respectively. Connection response time. Operate continuously and record results. Start. According to the test results table, we can see that in the 20 tests of this experiment, the average response time of Wi-Fi 4 is 4 times the average response time of Wi-Fi 6. Obviously, the Wi-Fi 6 development board is more responsive. It takes less time. Before testing the power consumption of the module in Wi-Fi 6 mode, we need to configure the Wi-Fi 6 router first. The router we choose now is Macrotic HAPAX Superscript 2. 
This router supports 802.11 AX protocol. We are in the router interface. In the Wi-Fi advanced settings interface. Set the 2.4G Wi-Fi working mode to 802.11 AX mode. After setting, click Save. Open serial port. Enter the command to connect the Wi-Fi module to the router. Wi-Fi underscore STA underscore connect NAN in 12345678 After successful connection, after the module is connected, it will be printed in the log. Obtained IP address. After confirming that the connection is OK, then enter the command to enter low power consumption tick list 10, so we can go to the instrument, check out our test results. We are in the router interface. In the Wi-Fi Advanced Settings interface, set the 2.4G Wi-Fi working mode to 802.11 AX mode. After setting, click Save. Open Serial Port. Enter the command to connect the Wi-Fi module to the router. Wi-Fi underscore STA underscore connect NAN in 12345678 After successful connection. After the module is connected, it will be printed in the log. Obtained IP address. After confirming that the connection is OK, then enter the command to enter low power consumption tick list 10, so we can go to the instrument, check out our test results. Pass the above two tests. We can see that, whether it is a response time test or an average power consumption test in DTAM 10 mode, Wi Fi 6 modules all demonstrate strong advantages in smart door locks and smart cat eyes, surveillance cameras, on terminal equipment such as sensors. With high speed transmission, Wi Fi 6 module with low power consumption can provide us with faster and more stable, lower power network connectivity. If you are interested in Wi Fi 6 modules and want to know more, Welcome to follow us. Thanks for watching. Okay, off work.